In today's lesson, we're going to start talking about Scratch. The Scratch icon looks like this, and you can download it from MIT at scratch.mit.edu. And when you load it, it loads and looks something like this. At first, what you want to see is that your screen, your output screen, or in this case, our video game screen is over here to show us what's happening. All of the objects that we build are over here. And if we want to make new objects, we can either open objects from a file or create new ones. Here is our script window. Script is another word for program. And so this is where we're going to build the different programs for our different things. But of course, each object, in this case, our sprite one cat, can also have a costume and have a series of costumes. In this case, two identical costumes and some sounds that we can either import or record in order to make the script work properly. Finally, over here, you have eight different palettes to choose from, and each time you choose a palette, the corresponding options underneath completely change. So for motion, we have motion-related options. For looks, we have things like costumes and things to say and color effects and such. For sound, we have sound effects and all the different joys there. For pen, which is one choice that we will only use a little bit, you can actually, every time your character moves, it'll draw a line behind it. Control is a really important tab, this orange control area, which is going to set all the different types of controls that we can build into our program. Sensing is when we want things in our uh, program or game to react to other things. And so there's all kinds of choices there. Operators is a little mathematical. So we have adding two things, subtracting two things. And we can drag parts into, our, uh, into the holes there to fill them. And finally, variables. And variables is going to be its own whole section, and we won't discuss it here yet. And that's a basic overview of Scratch.